Okay, Jeff, wow, look at this uh, fog or cloud cover. Yeah. It's getting chilly. It, yeah, it's back again. So uh, the fog pattern has kind of started to make it feel like October outside, right? It's been uh, very refreshing for us, and we also have some updated looks at rain chances as we head through the next couple of weeks. Let's move it into that microclimate forecast on this Thursday night. We got a lot happening in this weather cast, so we're going to start it off right now with a look outside here in San Francisco, and you can see all of that fog with us right now. 57 degrees, chilly weather. Might even need the windshield wipers for a little bit if you're headed into the city tonight. That fog stays put here as we roll through the next several hours. Now that's what's helping to keep temperatures comfortable in San Jose. 70 degrees right now, and then we're on to some quick cooling here with 60s as we roll through the next several hours. Now we're seeing the fog pattern so aggressive at the coastline because we're basically stuck in between two different systems. We have been stuck with this pattern since about Monday. The atmosphere is really having a hard time moving, and whenever you get, uh, you know, somewhat stable conditions, it allows the fog pattern to take hold. So here you can see high pressure to the north, a system to the south, and there we are stuck right in the middle. So I do think as we roll through tomorrow morning's forecast, that fog is going to be back with us yet again. And it has been nice, even though we haven't had any big rainfall, it just kind of makes it feel like October out there, as I mentioned uh, just a little bit ago, right? Okay, here through the North Bay, East Bay, South Bay Peninsula, there you can see that fog and the spotty drizzle. Then as we head through the afternoon, this starts to clear back uh, rather slowly, though, by 1130 in the morning, still have some clouds over the bay. And then once we hit about 130 in the afternoon, there's that sunshine for the inland valleys, while the coastal areas continue with that fog. Temperatures to start off are going to be on the cool side here. I have those 50s from the South Bay to the Tri-Valley. Have you down in San Francisco to 53, North Bay coming in at 50. So daytime highs as we move through tomorrow, they're actually going to warm up a few degrees because once that fog pattern starts to break, it does look like that sun is going to help to heat us up. We'll get up to 79 here in Milpitas. 84 in Morgan Hill. Right through the East Bay, have it to 86 in Antioch, 85 Pleasanton, 80 in Martinez. For the peninsula, 71 in San Mateo, down to Palo Alto, 75. San Francisco, 67 in downtown Marina at 59. And the North Bay, 81 in Santa Rosa, 84 in Nevada. So we've had the cooler weather with us. What about rainfall chances? I've been talking about the system next week, but the problem with the system next week is while it does have some rainfall with it, best chances go towards Southern California, and it's really even not a whole bunch of rain right now because this storm is separated from the main storm track, so it just can't pick up enough energy. So right now, best rain chances to Southern California. Now beyond this, we are seeing what could be a system develop around the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd of this month. So about a week and a half away off to the north may offer some shower chances here as we hit October the 22nd, maybe even some snow for this year. So real good to see this on the boards, still a ways away. But of course, we'll continue to keep you updated on that. Right here in San Francisco, you'll see those 60s right into this upcoming weekend and through the inland valleys. Got it to 77 Saturday, 76 on Sunday. TGIF a little early. It's almost here. <laughs> TGIF. Yeah. We're counting yeah. down. We are. Thanks, yeah. Jeff. Yeah.